So have you got a couple of minutes to spare to learn some completely bizarre, random, unconnected photography tips? You never know what you may actually learn. Roll the tape. So we noticed, as I'm sure you have, that on YouTube there are hundreds if not thousands of videos where you're kind of given the idea of five different tips to learn about aperture or composition or shutter speed or focus, which is great, but obviously if you're not interested in that subject or if, you're, if you've kind of mastered it in a way, if you're quite competent with it, then those kind of videos aren't really going to benefit you in a way. So we thought as a slightly different approach, we'd actually create a video that's a little bit more random, offering you different tips. It's pretty much a bit of a roulette as to whether you actually would benefit from it, but it's fun to play along at least anyway. So these tips, they're not just gimmicks in any sense. They are actually practical and useful ideas that we as iPhotography tutors actually use quite a lot in our own workflow when we're kind of taking images, and especially even when we're making these videos as well. So stick around for the next couple of minutes and we'll go through some of these absolutely fantastic, helpful photography tips. So tip one. It may sound really counterproductive, but we'd recommend to actually leave your camera on whenever you go out shooting. I think this dog's gonna end up in the video. That may sound obvious, but what we actually mean by it is actually leave it on even when you're not taking the picture. If you're just, say, walking around the countryside or walking around town or a city, just keep your camera on all times. Don't feel that you have to turn it off until you actually see a moment because the opportunities arise so quickly and they can disappear so quickly is that you actually may miss something by kind of grabbing your camera, turning it on, adjusting everything. It's just as easy to leave it on you actually probably won't lose as much battery power as you think. It may only be around about five, six, seven percent at most that you'd leave, that you'd lose uh, by leaving your camera on all that while. So tip number two is that we'd always recommend to shoot raw. The benefit of this is that if you want to actually try a little bit of black and white photography, is that if your camera has the option of raw and then also some color filters, is that when you're shooting in a raw format, you can actually apply on some cameras, maybe not all of them, the option to actually then add a black and white filter over the shot and get a better idea of how your shot's gonna look. Shooting in raw will give you the option that when you come to edit the image, is that the photograph, the raw file itself, will actually still be in color. A word of warning though, if you actually do shoot in JPEG with your camera all the time, if you actually apply these color filters on top, it will affect the JPEG file. So when you actually get the image out of the card onto your computer, you'll just have a black and white version and obviously we'll be able to go back. So always shoot in raw. Tip three is to walk slowly. Sounds really silly. But honestly, if you're ever going out taking photographs, just take the time to appreciate things around you. Go a little bit slower. You know, no one ever really gets a great photograph by hurrying. So we'd always say, you know, if you're going out for a bit of a hike, a bit of a wander around your town or countryside, just go at a slightly slower pace and it allows you just to assess the surroundings and just see what's there. We actually went on a very similar walk ourselves a little while ago. We made a whole video about it. So I'll put a link just above so you can always jump and have a look to that. So tip four is one for you Instagram followers. So this is really, really useful to make use of Instagram's explore feature. You can actually type in a location and you can find out all the geotagged images that have been um, put up online in the past 24 hours or past couple of weeks. Now, the reason being this is kind of a useful tool is that if you're gonna go on a bit of a photo shoot to a location you've never been to before, it's really important to know what the actual surrounding looks like. And you're almost kind of getting a more of a, a live, real-time feel of it as well if you search by the kind of recent um, categories. So have a look on Instagram. You can kind of type in your location, find out what it's gonna look like, and it just gives you a bit of a head start for your next photo shoot. So tip number five is not to forget looking through the abilities and the features that your camera's got. Shooting on auto, shooting on manual, the brilliant options, you know, either way for getting to learn your camera or learn a bit more, but there may actually be some hidden little creative filters and creative features that can help you get a little bit more out of your camera. We did again a whole video about this, which we'll put the link up to um, above us so you can have a look and see how our adventures went with it. But have a look through, you, you may find in your camera menu, they may be called uh, creative filters or kind of fun effects or, or special pictures. There's lots of different variations which can just add a little bit more creativity to your photo shoot. 
See, we're done. Five quick tips, dead easy. Hopefully, maybe, possibly, you've learned something from it. Maybe you actually have a few little random tips of your own, and if you do, use the comments down below. Let us know, is there something that we've missed, something else that you can help other people with? It'd be great to hear from you. Obviously, if you've enjoyed the video, like all others, please hit the subscribe button and the notifications so you can find out when the next video is coming. Until the next time, we'll see you soon.